Karakin is an arid, rocky, inhospitable environment. It sets the stage for a really high intensity showdown for all the Battle Royale players. It's immersive and it's intense. Map that's constantly changing throughout the gameplay. Karakin, in one word, is tension. Kirkin is a very special map. It offers a lot of new pillars of gameplay. The first pillar is the black zone. We never want players to experience the same match twice. The circle is random, the drops are random, the other players are random, but what if the map itself had a little bit of life to it? Considering this feature, imagine the red zone. The black zone is the opposite. It is designed to get players outdoors. Designing this feature came with a lot of technical challenges because we've never done anything like this in another map before. Karkin buildings are a lot different from the other buildings. Each one has a demolished version of itself, so we had to develop new procedures and pipelines in order to create all this new art. Any individual building could change states, so we had to find a way to dynamically change the way that our game is created from scratch. We used the tools in Maya and Houdini. It let us make these destroyed shells of the building a lot faster. And then what's cool is a secondary function of this tool allows us to simulate the leftover parts of the building for destruction. David created some really great tools for creating the buildings. We were able to reduce the iteration time so we can get to playtesting quicker. Another challenge was getting these uh, destroyed concrete edges here. And what we ended up doing was taking an asset like this, which is a photo scanned asset from Megascans, and we were able to capture the, the edge data here. It allows us to kind of reshape that data into all these different pieces. Our second pillar we're excited about are breach walls. Breach walls in PUBG introduce what I would call lock and key gameplay. Lock is the wall and the key is the sticky bomb. Yes, the gameplay intention is kind of make it more intense as you're inside a building. You have to be more aware of your surroundings. Breachable walls were tough visually to design. PUBG is based in realism and we didn't want to be, have this like big cartoony space in the wall. So we chose like this red brick that's not used anywhere else on the map. So if you see this red brick, you're gonna know. We wanted to balance the realism and the ability to be able to distinguish these walls. And there's another wall that's just pure concrete for the floor. And also in some buildings, you may find some passages to tunnels and other ones you can kind of drop through onto unsuspecting players. The smuggler tunnels are always going to be a good avenue for uh, stealthy approaches or for getting through mountain areas that you just don't want to be exposed in. There's bunkers that are all over, so those also lead into the tunnels. This is the symbol of Karakin's smuggler faction. So where players see this octopus, they should look for breachable walls and attempt to explore the vast underground network of the, the smuggler faction. Not all the bunkers are going to lead to tunnels and not all the tunnels connect to each other. Some of the bunkers actually only have one or two rooms. Some will lead you into an entire tunnel network. The third thing we're excited about is bullet penetration. We didn't want to put it anywhere because it can be a quite an overpowered feature. We have special tattered, war-torn drywall you'll find inside our interiors that give you glimpses of enemy players. This allows you to hear players you wouldn't ordinarily hear, get brief glimpses of them as they're sneaking through. So it kind of adds to the gameplay where you can see somebody or you hear somebody on the other side of the wall. Do you want to keep hiding? Do you want to give away your position and try to shoot them? And then you have to have the fight through the wall. We wanted Karakin to be all about tension. So every new feature, every layout decision, the rocks and the trees are all designed to amp up the tension. It's about survival, it's about choices, it's about making the best decision out of a lot of bad decisions. And this is just one more way you can experience and tell your own story. At PUBG, we think we're kind of developing the game with you, the fans. Hit us in the forums, hit us on Reddit, hit us on Twitter. Come talk to me. This is a live game, it's an evolving game. So your feedback is incredibly valuable.